Hello guys, welcome back to Banish. This is episode 2, and we are going to load into our world, Drigginson. That was an odd, randomly chosen name. Let's see where we left off. Alright, I'm going to pause the game real quick. Yeah, uh, we left off with our storage cart being demolished. Uh, we built this barn. All of our stuff is being put in there. Uh, we have a boarding house for all of our people. Uh, a couple small stockpiles. We've slowly been clearing out this area. Uh, we built a little bit over here. A hunting cabin. Uh, we have three hunters. In fact, I'm going to make that four right now. I... What am I doing? No. Okay. There we go. Oh, wait. There. Okay. <laughs> and we have a gatherer's hut. Both providing us with a plentiful amount of food. What's that? Uh, there are citizens without jobs. you. You're a hunter. Well, go do your job. Wait. Oh, you can only have four hunters. That's why. Okay. Makes sense. I thought you could have four. Alright, nice. It stopped raining. Okay, so we have 300 amount of stored food. Uh, we have food in the boarding house, and, uh, I think when this gets fully demolished, it'll start pouring in more stuff over there. Um, looks like we have another adult, maybe? Oh, never mind, never mind, I, never mind. <laughs> um, let's raise the priority on this, like, what are they doing? Is it builders that do that? I just walked into the stockpile. Yeah, it's builders that do that. Alright, I think this episode we should build a school. So we can have educated citizens. And a blacksmith and a tailor. Then we would basically have a uh, a self-sustaining self-sustaining village going on. Also, when this gets fully demolished, we can build a road over here, which would be nice. Okay. Yeah, we have more food. Doing good. Um, I would want to build a, uh, fishing thing. What is the name called? A fishing dock, obviously. But I don't know if it'll build right there. Will it? Let's test this out. Uh, it will. That's nice. Let's build that right now, actually. We don't completely need it, but it'll be useful. Actually, now, let's, let's save that for when we do need it. When the population gets large. Larger, at least. <laughs> These guys are doing good. Um, how much firewood does the boarding house have? Because we need a woodcutter. 79. Alright. So the boarding house has a lot of firewood. We might be able to last a couple more winters. Is this almost done? Come on. Let me speed up time. There they go. Look at all these deer. 
They should go within the range over here so that way they can get eaten. Alright, that's just about done. Yep, and it's done. Alright, everything from there is pushed over into here. And look at that, we have 1,600 food. I'm not sure if that's from moving that, or if that's from uh, people doing their jobs, but still, we have a good amount of food. Alright, let's build a road out here, because why not? I'm thinking we should try to move over here or have access over here as fast as possible because this is the main river and this is where a trader will come down once a year usually in early spring I think uh, so if we set up a uh, trading post is that what it's called uh, where's it at uh, thinky thinky where is it at I am out of practice on this game. Is what? Tr trading post? Is that it? It is it. All right. So yeah, we would be able to place that right along here somewhere. And we would be able to buy seeds to start a farm. Which we don't absolutely need right now, but it would be handy for later. Alright, we have another laborer. Let's make them a builder for now. Alright, people are going to lose their happiness if they all start living with each other. So I think we should start building some houses. Um, I'm going to extend this a little bit, like so, and houses, I'll go with wooden houses because they're cheaper, build one, two wooden houses right there, I hate that gap, what am I doing? Uh, alright, that, actually, let's try to fix this a little bit, uh, if we could build a house out here, that would be great. There, this would be like a little neighborhood of houses. And I could build just a one block road out to here. And we could extend this out. Like that. Okay, uh, we're gonna need a lot more stone. I think we have enough logs, but let's start gathering some stone, I think. So, um, let's make them all laborers for now. Collect all this stone, all that stone. I want to try to not interrupt this as much as possible, because we need to keep the forest. I'm not sure if we're collecting the rocks messes that up or not anyway I'll let them grab that and I'll speed up time <sighs> what are they doing where are they
They should be gathering that now, shouldn't they? Are they? Probably. Yes, houses are being built. I like this game because when there's not something tragic happening, it's very peaceful, you know? Alright, let's make them all builders. We can start working on that. Did I run out of space in the stockpiles? No, I did not. Alright. That's just kind of sitting out there all weird. But they'll get that when I put them back into being laborers. Alright, this is coming along nice. I think this would be a nice little area for a... Um, a market. I am actually going to place this right here. But I am going to pause the construction of it. Just so I know where I want it to be. Right, I saved this spot for roads. forgot about that we need more firewood for that okay so we need to make a wood cutter immediately um wood cutter is uh right here oops all right where should i put him right along here I think so. So let's quickly raise the priority of that. So they'll start making the houses because those are not mandatory right now. And they'll make the woodcutter, which will take our logs and turn them into firewood, which means we're going to need a constant income of logs, which means we also need to build a forester's lodge now. So let's just build that right there. I don't want to have too many buildings around here. I want to keep the forest as foresty as possible for our gatherer's hut. Looks like we're also going to need an herbalist, because our health is below full, which isn't something to be scared about right now but we need to keep an eye on it come on I'm raising the priority ah whatever I'm almost done anyway ooh we're already in autumn I need to hurry up and build that Alright, so we have four families living in their own houses now. Now they need to build that, because, come on. Do they need laborers to chop down the trees? Let's test that out. Maybe that's why they <clears throat> weren't working on it. It's because they need laborers to chop down the trees.
Yeah. Alright, well, it's fine. Our city is starting to look like a city. They need to hurry up. It's almost winter. We need this woodcutter's lodge. The woodcutter's... Not... Skip the lodge. <laughs> Come on. Yes, yes. Alright, start working on that. Oh, we need builders. Who's carrying the basket? Yep, it's the gatherer. That's kind of cool. We are on year two. It's almost year three. And our woodcutter is almost built. So we can turn all of them into laborers and grab one woodcutter. <clears throat> you can have a maximum of one woodcutter per uh, woodcutter's building. Alright, so we should have someone making firewood for us. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so they should start working on this now, actually. Because we're going to need more logs um what i can do is make it so the forester only plant seeds or only cuts down trees but i, I want to try to keep the balance because the gatherer needs our forest wait do we need more stone where's oh we have exactly enough Alright, so they'll be working on that. Okay. Also, if you want to keep watching me do the series, let me know if you would rather see 10-minute episodes or 30-minute episodes like the last one. Because either way, I don't mind. This game's fun. I don't do it just for YouTube. Alright, our woodcutters cutting wood. That's good. Um... Hasn't brought any back to the barn yet, but that's all right. Uh, we have two more adults now. Each working as laborers. Let's see, are they done with this? Yes, they are. What happens if I turn them into builders? Will they start doing that? As you can tell, I'm not a complete expert with this game. <laughs> I have to keep questioning myself. But I know a thing or two about it, which is good. Alright, we have eight stored firewood. And these people, uh, when it, the time comes, they'll grab firewood out of the barn, bring it to their house. Uh, it's all good. I think we should be able to survive this. As long as the other houses don't hoard it, then we should be fine. Are they working on that yet? They are. 
Alright. Ah, it's a nice and peaceful little village now. I'm gonna pause the video real quick and I'm gonna say something. Um, it's really weird, but pe the people in the game actually age faster than the year. It's weird how it works, but uh, it is how it works. Anyway, we're on year three. We're already in late autumn of year three. Wasn't it just late autumn in year two? Dang. Come on, work on that faster. Does it need to be laborers that do that? Let's test that out. It does. I am not good at this game. Oh, we're gonna need a tiny bit more stone. Oh, never mind. We're good. We're still gathering more stone, so. Um, let's turn three of them into builders. Alright, everyone has firewood. It's all good. Oh, they ran out of firewood. Um, sorry. Reserve of tools is low. Uh oh. I was not paying attention to that. Looks like we're gonna need to build the blacksmith before we build the school. Which is alright, but I would rather be the other way. Um, alright. Two foresters for now. Uh, I am definitely going to slow down time. And I think I accidentally closed the jobs tab. <laughs> My screen is not big enough for more than three tabs. Okay, uh, blacksmith. Where's he at? Right. Uh, should be you. Alright, right about there okay we're gonna need more stones which I think they are bringing more stones over I think uh, let's raise the priority of this because it's really important that we have tools our food is doing good which is actually really good so is our firewood. So I think we are doing really good so far. Something's going to happen eventually, I know it. <laughs> Look at that. Snow's disappearing during the winter time. It's nice to see. You gonna you gonna do that? Okay, I'm confused. Let me test this. I'm gonna put it on high speed builders. Will I work on that now? What if I turn them back into laborers? Come on, work on this or else. I will feed you to the lions. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Alright, well then. Um, 
let us have them gather more rocks over here. Hope they're already gathering those. Alright, so that's all good. Okay. Uh, they're just bringing stones over now. Um, my forester is being slow, but they're doing their job. Once I get more people, I'm going to have more people be foresters. Come on. Come on. Oh, I need iron to build that too. So, I should have them gather all that iron. Okay. Uh, Alright, we are beginning to have a tool problem. We had a tool problem before, but that was the amount of store tools. Now, let's see, this guy, the gatherer, doesn't have any tools at all. He can't grab any from the stored amount, so he just runs off and tries to does it, do his job without any tools, which is very less productive, if that's even how you say it. Come on, guys. We're doing good on food right now, so I'm going to have gatherers just go up and help them real quick so we can work a little bit faster. And speed it up all the way. Dang. We need to have this tool problem fixed soon. Alright, another child was born. Ooh, our woodcutter doesn't have tools, so that's not too good. He's very important. Okay, so gatherers be gatherers, um, and builders work on that. Who are you? You're a builder. Why aren't you working on that? Come on. You're just gonna go to your house or something? Yep. Alright. Whew. We have another person without tools, so hopefully we can get this done fast. I was hoping this would be more smooth, but looks like we're doing we're doing okay so far. Okay. More people without tools is not good. Whew. 
Almost done. Alright. Um, both laborers, one blacksmith. Like the woodcutter, you can only have one blacksmith per building, which is fine. Alright, so he needs uh, to use or he uses firewood and iron or is logs I thought it was firewood I, I guess logs makes more sense but I thought it, I remember it being firewood anyway he uses iron so we want to make sure that we have a plentiful amount of iron for him to make tools he'll get working on that and I think we'll have a solve the tool problem I'm thinking about where I should put the schoolhouse. First of all, let's see how big it is. I forgot. Um, that's cemetery. Obviously, it's the book. Okay. Uh, it's not very big, so... I don't know. Somewhere about there, maybe. Our blacksmith is working, so we should have tools soon. Uh, another child was born. Very good, very good. It's 81 degrees outside and raining. It's not too often that you see that. Or maybe this isn't Celsius. I don't know how to read Celsius, so I, I'm not sure. But 81 degrees Fahrenheit isn't very cold. I didn't do that. No. Come on. Actually, let's make this guy a builder real quick. And let's focus on the roads real quick. Cuz that won't take very long. Okay. Come on, blacksmith. All right, let's speed up time. Our blacksmith made more tools and three people got tools that's why there's only two people without tools left which is very good to make this guy a laborer, put this back to one, and cancel, uh, let's see, cancel removal of all resources that I have done everywhere, just because I want to have it organized, frame rate drop, by the way, okay, 
So let's just collect the iron that's sitting right there and right there. Uh, times two speed. There we go. I I. Where is our laborer, and what is he doing? She, I guess. Look at that, she's a full-grown adult at the age of 13. Okay, look at that. Our food. Firewood is 210. And our food is 2,290. It is really good. wasn't paying attention but some time ago I'm not sure how long our tool problem was fixed if you didn't notice that already so we're doing pretty good now uh, schoolhouse needs to be fixed or built I mean um, let's put it at times five speed Hopefully one of these kids grows up soon. I could turn them into a teacher so all the other kids uh, will become a student for 10 years and then work as a skilled laborer. Get their jobs done faster and better. The only thing I have uh, assigned to be removed is this iron. Is that a piece assigned to be removed? Take out a couple gatherers. Uh, turn two of them into builders. Actually, one builder. And hopefully they could start working on that. And I'm going to boost the priority. Because I want to have skilled laborers, not unskilled laborers. is low pretty much but at least it's not our food we're gonna need a tailor soon as well because we only have three stored coats left and they use up coats a lot there's our forest looking over here uh, I think you could tell there's a lot less trees I'll let them do a little bit more before I have them assigned to planting now. Um, how are they doing here? Uh, oh, good. Alright. Have a builder working on that. Uh, boost the priority. Where's our. Oh, we need one of them. Uh, where's our builders? Can I work on that? Or, like. Nah. 
There they go. Alright, also, I'm gonna have them get a few more trees. Just scrape off the edges that are up here. Okay, we have a schoolhouse. That means we could have a teacher make both of them laborers and they'll start gathering the trees. And so now, when those five kids become adults, they will become a actually a student for 10 years and then they will become an adult. It'll take longer for them to start working, but it'll be worth it because they'll be a lot more efficient workers. Okay, I am actually going to set the max of this guy to, I'm going to do 15 for now, because we don't really need more than that right now, and I don't want him using too many resources, because a firewood guy needs to use them too. Alrighty, righty, let's see. Laborers, are you doing work? Yes, you are. They're carrying stuff back to the stockpiles. Yeah, yeah. I think I should have one large stockpile over here. Let's see, so... Right about, right about, uh, I can't place it there. There we have a seven by seven stockpile right there. So they will start piling the resources right there too. That way they don't have to walk all the way over there. Okay. Uh hi. I didn't notice this until now. Uh, we have three people as students now. So if you notice, up here, we'll say 12, 3, 2. Uh, before, the 3 was a 0. And now it's a 3, meaning kids have become students. I close that out again. Dang it. Why do I always do that? Okay. This guy has reached max amount of firewood that he can do. And this guy has reached max amount of tools he can do. Meaning we are good. I'm gonna build out this road a little bit here. Okay. Uh, build some more houses right out here. Uh, maybe build. Actually, I was gonna say maybe build a tunnel through here and build out to here, but there's not very much space to build, so I don't know if that's worth it. Is it snowing? Is that snow? What was that?
Okay, doing good. Well, guys, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, I think it was a little bit shorter than the last one, but that's alright. I don't want to make it too long. Um, anyways, we have a little bit going. We have our blacksmith making plenty of tools for us. Woodcutter, uh, forester, giving us all the resources we need. Almost all, anyways. Uh, we have the schoolhouse going three students meaning we are a success so far uh, we also have built up these houses over here uh, providing uh, families to uh, stay in there and not have to live with the entire town who did all of the people move out I think they did all right well, looks like that was all the houses we needed for the moment anyway uh, please like, subscribe, comment what you think of the series, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.